As Christ followers, what is our response to the fatherless story? How do we respond to this with the heart of the one who says, Father, he is father to the fatherless? You see, this is a theological issue. It's not just a social issue. The government has to take care of kids because God himself calls himself father to the fatherless. Our response is that we have to be reconcilers, that we have to enter into the shame and suffering of a generation. We have to step into their lives with the same intimacy in which Christ stepped into ours at the Incarnation. This is the Great Commission lifestyle that Jesus calls us to in Matthew 28. And this is mentoring, stepping into another's life with incarnational, intentional presence in a way that says to a generation that's been branded by rejection, a way you step into their life incarnationally and you say, I am with you. I'm with you. You're no longer branded by rejection. I'm with you. We must enter into their suffering. In fact, I'll go a step further to say that this generation will never believe our gospel, that God can be their father, unless we step into their lives with the same intimacy in which Christ stepped into our world at the incarnation. We must step into their lives. Leo Tolstoy once said, everyone wants to change humanity, but no one wants to change themselves. This is our call individually here at Verge. It's not a collective call necessarily. It's an individual call. How are we going to respond to the crisis of fatherlessness with the heart of the one who calls himself father to the fatherless?